Funko. Are they flying right into it? Are they flying? Looks like it, They're yes. flying right into it. And, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Immediately aerial into grab from Peach. That it, sounds about right. This is going to be difficult for Bunko. You know, he's been getting really, really comfortable with fast followers. And, you know, he's gonna change of pace, it down. it's going to be very difficult. It's, it's not a kill. Oh, oh. That's, that's painful. But good start. Good start. And immediately gets his back air shield grab. Uh, I looked it up. Uh, you know, we didn't have Xanadu last week, uh, but two weeks ago, it was uh, MC David versus JBS. JBS. JBS is probably the best Falcon I've seen in person at a local. He, okay. He's very crispy. He has all of the every every bread and butter option down to a T, and he's really good on fadeback nares. Uh, Bunko doesn't really do many fade back nares, so we're going to see what his best option is to combat this shield grab from MC David. I think partially it's got to be better spacing the aerials, maybe incorporate some edge cancels. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite things to do on Fountain. Uh -huh. uh, and really, also, you can't crouch cancel stop. No. Well, he just crouch canceled me. Yeah. <laughs> me, you can, but stop because it's up and down, you know. Yeah, you're going to get popped. And that's really, you got you have to work around both the crouch cancel down fast as well as the crouch cancel just jump nair. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you, you can just eat your hit and it doesn't have to counteract immediately. You can wait for the jump to come out. And, ooh, that was... I'm astounded that the downer did not hit there. And Bunko is having an awful time trying to get off the ledge versus Peach. Yep. Peach. Kind of difficult to do with MC David's item play here. Yep. On top of that, at any, one, at any moment... Uh, Nair can come out and just pop you. Yeah. So. Cool. Of course, you, you killed have a good it today. One, Louise. Dude, oh my gosh. Yeah. I, after seeing him like read Alas's spot dodge a million times, it's like, okay, he's, he's just on fire right now. It's tough. So. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I didn't want to say it while Louise was here, but uh, before we came over here, I, I, wor I uh, warmed up Bunko against Falco for oh, like really? an hour. <laughs> I'm not going to say that to Louise, but... Yeah. Also, He's you get paid out? Top three gets paid out? Apparently. Listen. I've never seen it. <laughs> I've never gotten past 2-2. Two -two. I'm a 2-2 two -two or die hard. I'm not trying to get the money. I'm I've, got, I've gone to three two ones. That's the hero oh, I want. <laughs> not in like a while. Uh, Good knee, good call out, but you know, Nair, fa fastball Nair, it's hard to punish. Good CC and a grab, but. I think it's interesting that. Um, I'm looking at how Bunko's approaching this. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what he needs to do to get past Peach. MC David is just doing so well of taking what he, what uh, Bunko will give him mm -hmm. and then retreating back and crouch canceling yep. when he knows he's cornered and has to give up space. I think that what's 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 going to be really pivotal is uh, Bunko just dashing in, forcing that dash back, slowly condensing space, and then forcing MC David to commit to an option. There's the bomb. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hard to react to uh, that tech situation yeah. and the tree's not oh, on stage. Oh, that was almost knee. a knee. This is a very, I, the most frustrating. It should be so free to kill a Peach off Paracel, but it never is. Because that, that piddly little hitbox gets in the way. You would think it wouldn't, but it does. Yeah. And also just the, the small drop downs. It's oh, so yeah. hard to handle that. She can change her tra trajectory pretty quickly. MC David's been loving the transformations and just throwing for Peach Bomber <laughs> off the wall. Look it can kind of throw opponents off because you're uh, changing direction quickly. Yep. And it also uh, can help boost your Twitter following if you get the clip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good up airs, but, you know, little trade sets it back up to even. You know, we're at a very even game, too. Drops Bunko is really starting to use the space on the stage a little more. Yep. This is the frustrating part. When you're a Falcon and you get on top of that top platform, it's very hard to get out. And the reversal just kills. Yeah. Yeah. You look at the timer, like, wow, it's already more than two minutes have passed, and I'm dying. <laughs> oh, good tech. Oh, but oh. drops the Waveland. Was trying to, like, uh, kind of edge cancel off the, 
the ledge there? Uh, yeah, like Waveland slide off into ledge grab, but... That would have been saucy, but... Yes, sneaky on how technical that could be. Also, I, I think maybe that up smash is intentional, because he's doing it when Peach is on the platform up above it. Yeah. See, it's really risky because you're going to get your ankles caught in Peach's down smash. Yeah. But at the I, same time, maybe you can get the two kicks out first? I'm thinking that what Bunko's thinking is, I'm going to throw this out and either one, you're going to run into it, or two, hopefully it might force a slide off, like if there, if, oh, yeah. if uh, MC David goes for shield option. Oh, you got to... you gotta mm. Miss the tech off the rock. Yep, that's going to be easy bread and butter coverage. Peach will cover that ledge every time. It's so difficult for Falco to get Falcon to get back on stage against Peach. Especially when they know where to place the turnups. Yes. At that point, they can really cut down your options, especially especially Falcon. Love the up tilt and the soft knee. Oh, and he can't finish it out. And he Falconed a little too close to the sun. A little too close. MC David coming up on 2-0, uh, looking for tournament game. You know, if Bunko then were to win the next six in a row, then he could, <laughs> hypothetically. But, uh, yeah, this is a, a difficult uh, matchup, especially because uh, you really, uh, to make comebacks in, cause especially because you try to force too much against Peach and she'll make you pay. Definitely. You really have to take what you're given at, you know, intervals, really. You know, Bunko's been giving us some great sets, so I hope you can turn this around, maybe try and force out a bracket reset of Miracles. Or at least a game four. Yeah, give us a game four. Interesting that he changes stage too, uh, going over to Dreamland. I don't really know what you do against Peach. I don't play many Peaches. There aren't many Peaches that come here, and uh, I don't end up against MC David because I usually go out in game one. Ooh. I set one, so uh, I don't know the best counter pick for a Peach because, sure, now you have this extra space on Dreamland. Now you can uh, kind of work around, you know, run around, dodge the aerials, but how are you going to kill Peach until yeah. you get to 112%? You're not going to be able to combo very easy. See, in other stages, that up air might be a kill. So you just have to start being able to read the edge, the the uh, recovery options. Very difficult. And also, uh, MC David has done a wonderful job of getting out of up air knee setups mm -hmm. and DAIing them correctly every time. Yep. Making it very hard for Bunko to get any of these kills any earlier. Yep. This is exactly what I was talking about. Aerial after aerial after aerial, and now MC David has a very recover like he's in a very good position to recover even even if it's not ideal he's just really good look he's gonna live again it's and again. so difficult it's hard to justify pokemon St or, uh, this over pokemon stadium uh-huh i gotta think i'm thinking what he's thinking also is not only you know it's you have a lot of room but Top platform, sure. It's not really going to be involved that much against the Peach. The platforms are longer, though, so maybe he's thinking, okay, I can have an easier run-up start from distance or something like that. Okay, I can see that. Just thinking the only other thing would be get a lead on Peach and, like, try to circle camper a little bit. A little bit. Try to make MC David get a little too antsy, going and, for the 3-0. And uh, uh, another option is uh, it's better for recoveries. Now you can kind of, because that space on Pokemon Stadium, it's a little bit farther in. It's harder. I gotta say, I love that um, Bunko's just been running in, short hopping, landing, and throwing a forward tilt from behind. It's a very confusing mix up. Uh, back into the. Oh, he catches him! Slap! And. Oh, four stocks to two, real quick. So maybe this is a lot better than Pokemon Stadium. Maybe. Bunko may have this figured out. He Bunko's the one playing Falco. Uh, yes. Falcon, we're not. Yeah. He may have also Googled an SSBM tutorial video on matchup uh, stage selection. Yeah. Uh, right in between the, you know, in between the uh, losers finals and grants, pull out the phone real quick. <laughs> YouTube app it. But I will say what's what's good about this situation is if he can get to a game four, he's getting a lot of practice in this position position right here, this recovery position. Now he's like, he's he's gonna be able to like look for these aerials on the peach that's on the parasol or floating and mm. see what works, get comfortable with it. So when you come and to the smaller drift stages, patterns as well. exactly, you're gonna be able to get hard callouts at low percentages. Kind of like a puff players, you you, you have here. to really count how and uh, pay attention to how they react to and drift different things. Peach is very much the same way. Yes, I love drifts. I love the F airs that Bunko's throwing out, just covering a lot of space, lot that, of space. that MC David's looking to recover into. Just more up air, up air, up air, and not throwing out those hard committal moves that might kill at low percent, but might get punished easier, especially with a player that's at the caliber of MC David. Of course, yeah. 
Another forward tilt coming out. Yeah, getting mileage off of forward tilt. He's got the float done. Goes straight to ledge. What? Another edge cancel. That or or teeter cancel or something? Something like T cancel, yeah. It's spicy. Good turn up to just space him out a little bit and make the aerial easier and great. It just back didn't even look coverage. like it should connect, but I guess, yeah. Oh, Ooh. and as we looked away, MC David was unable to recover. Cannot tell if it was a flub or if he was just too low for the up Yeah, might have just been distracted. That so too. I, sometimes I do that, I'll kill the other person. I'm watching them like die off the top or die off the side, and I lose track of where my character is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Funko now here has two stocks to try to. At least put one on the board against MC David. It's going to be important that Bunko does not get overcommittal just because he has this advantage and needs one more kill. Um, At least on the first stock, it's a little uh, more understanding because he's building towards crouch cancel percent on both stocks. That's a kill. Dead at 85 post hit is hard. Yeah. Hard to win games when that's the percentage you're losing stocks at. That's frustrating. That's very frustrating. He throws out the forward smash. Gets away with the uh, spot dodge, but gets caught with a the knee there. The kind of uh, crouch cancel that makes you uh, have peach in your dreams. Bunko will do Bunko things. He does not care how good you are at the game. If you're shielding, he's going to up B into you. And that's a down... Can't see C into down smash. This might be game. Oop, soft hit. Great oh, shield. Can we, can we get one Just on the board? Just gets the air dodge out. Bunko's got to get out of this defensive Uno? commitment. Uno? Back air. Oh. This might be game. Oh! oh! Raptivist! Let's go, Bunko! Let's go, Bunko! The hero option. Can he meteor cancel that? I yeah, he can. He he can. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I see David very easily could have won that. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fine. There we go, game four. Woo! And we are on to Peach's dominant stage. After. Yeah. Have fun getting chain grabbed. It's going to be very difficult for Bunko, but he's starting to feel... It seems like he's starting to feel comfortable with the matchup. Starting to understand the spacing. Starting to understand that he can't throw out knees very often. Throw out as many up airs as you can and just ticky-tacky hit there. You really have to, you know, try to cross past Peach, and then as soon as you land, get out of there. Yeah. And it's so hard to do with no platforms. I haven't seen a down air hit against MC David this set, so that might be a testament for how things are going. I love the up air to try and get the kill. Reverse hit back air. Nair will not quite do it. You can get away with its Falcon Kick. MC David just has such control over his aerials. It's, it's bread and butter to him at this point. He knows every option you have and what he needs to do to recover it. I love the turn of play up air. Trying to get the up air again, space it out. Falcon really can't go below ledge too much, so it's it, his recovery style and Peach's recovery style just match up in a way that's very hard for him to recover edge guard Peach in any other way than wait for Peach to get to ledge. Yep. Great knee off of the float. Uh, I don't know if MC David was anticipating that, uh, but, you know, gets away with it. Not too many low percent kills for Bunko. It's just very hard against Peach with Falcon. I'm you don't exactly get Peach, yeah. There's a couple knees coming out now. I don't know if he's just catching him. Yeah, the knee rate's going up, which is giving me giving me a little bit of hope for Bunko yeah, here, because that, that usually means that their defenses are cracking a little bit, or he's finding an avenue to get in. Yep. He which, may in this matchup, you can blow up Peach. Yeah. He may be finding the timings when MC David's pulling out the float, but hasn't quite thrown out an arrow yet. Mm -hmm. So we might expect some more back airs and just kind of moves just out in the open, as you see here from MC David to set up anything. Just as, as you run in, you might be dead. Ooh, Gets away with one. Misses that, and MC David might be missing, missing Nothing. that. Yeah. Gentlemen, he's going to float in. So with the turn up like that, it just covers the blow options. Good, good, fast fall yeah. back air. That's a great, great, uh, great defense. David option. with a turn, but turn up in his hand is pretty much unstoppable from what we're seeing. There you go. Now you got rid of his float. Can you read the parasail? He's probably gonna go to ledge. Oh, Ooh, what an okay. insane option! Get down there. Return to hell with you. <laughs> and now he set up the chain grab, but you don't want to go to ledge because you're gonna get edge guard. So you go back in, and then you. Finding the timing to double jump out. Just clips him so he doesn't get forward aired. Ooh, yeah, and right back into... Well, I mean, it was a little early to end the chain grab. I think you could have kept going with up throws. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to see Bunko probably going for more offstage stuff because he's going to be at these uh, high percent. You know, his his stock is a little less meaningful. And even when he's at last stock, he's going to try and wrap something up here. Yeah. He's going to need an early kill. So a, we, knee, a knee right here can kill, which is probably what he's you know looking for, or at least a stomp to set up into one. Yeah. MC Dave is right at the prime percent for that. Yeah, but MC David, when he gets his lead, he's going to make you run at him. And when you run into him... You could be, you know, you, electrocuting him and yeah, sending him off the side of the stage. Or you could be dying yes. like this. That is going to do it probably. <laughs> MC yeah. David. That's Peach Just Falcon. throw aerials at the ledge. And Let's. congratulations, MC David. Woo! <sighs> He's... MC David's good. Mm -hmm. We all know MC David's good. He's good. He's good. He's real good. It's hard to figure out that matchup. He has, you know, you see a lot of Peaches, and they have their bread and butter options. They have three or four that they're really comfortable with, and then... I have not seen anyone really pose a, much of a question to MC David. No. In any phase of the game. And it's just so difficult because he knows I have this magic bag of options, and you don't know what's going to come out. You mm -hmm. can't get used to what he's doing, so... Good stuff to MC David.